Hi, I'm Lucy Werner. I'm an author and the founder of a PR and design consultancy. And I spend most of my time now working on an online education platform called Hype Yourself, which arms people like you with the tools and tricks they need to build their brand and help them hype themselves. And one of the ways that I do that is actually through being a big Adobe Express fan. I'm Adobe Express ambassador. And I wanted to talk to you today about some of the ways that I use Adobe Express as a non-designer to help build my brand and get myself out there. So let's get cracking. I wanted to talk about some of the inspiration I get for creating my own design assets when I'm not a designer. So obviously, as you can see here, you can start from the project sizes that they suggest, or I quite like to start from this big plus in the top left-hand corner. When you click on this, it gives you options um, from product sizes. Um, so you could do an Instagram post, Facebook, you know, collage, web page, whatever it is that you are thinking about. But I also wanted to just show you libraries. So there are public libraries here where you can basically access libraries that have already been created by designers that you like. So here are a few libraries that I've saved earlier of things that I find inspirational. And actually we've created our own Hype Yourself templates library, which we can link to, where we've created a whole bunch of social media templates that you can use to remix for your business. So in the second video, I'm gonna show you how to remix by applying your brand. So although we actually have our own templates in our own library that I showed you in the last video, I wanted to show you how you can easily remix from the templates that are here. So I've just done Instagram carousel templates and I quite like this one, this getting to know me one. So I'm going to start from here. So it's going to help me create a project from this. And it's superbly easy, like the design layout's already there. Obviously these aren't my brand colours or my face. So on here, I can literally replace this image by uploading one of my own. So I'm gonna upload a photo here. I've got a few from my desktop, so I'm just gonna pop this one in. And you can see it's already replacing the image and transferring the style. So if your photo uploaded and the whole background was there, you can actually really easily collect, um, click remove background to get rid of that. But actually, as you can see, it's already done that for me because it's collecting from the style that the design has made. So I'm just going to match myself in the corner. And then I just wanted to show you how easy it is on the design. I'm going to go to the design side and I'm just going to click apply my brand on the shuffle. And then look, voila, it's gone into my fonts, it's going into my colours. Um, and so it's all sort of ready for me to use. I'm just going to actually, I think, just give it a few more tries and then just going to replace the colours on this one as well to match my brand too. So to be able to change this design asset, I can click on the filter here which is going to give me the breakdown of what it is that's behind me on these duotones. So you can see here we've got the lighter shades of red and these darker ones. So when I click on that, my brand colours are already uploaded. So I think I'm going to go with my red um, or maybe even my pink in the lighter one. And then in this darker one, I'm going to go with my red here, just so I'm in to my brand colours. And I also feel like I want to change this font slightly, so I'm gonna go back to my palette where my brand colours are already saved from my brand. Wait for them to um, pop up. So yeah, these are my two fonts, my headline font and my secondary font that I've already got from my branding partner. But then I can just literally edit it myself. So I'm gonna change these ones because I just wasn't quite happy with the brandify function even though it's set it up beautifully for me. And I think also I'm just gonna change the um, line spacing here just so it's not as broad. Um, and just get those guys the same. Maybe a little cheeky little 50 here. Okay, voila! I've now got my own on-brand post created super quickly and easily. 
Imagine you've already created your beautiful design and then you suddenly realize actually you need this for multiple uses. You need it for perhaps the cover of a brochure or for a Facebook banner. And I'm actually gonna show you here how to turn it into a blog post cover. So here, this magical resize button, which is gonna save you so much time, I cannot tell you. Just click on this here. Look, you can literally change it to any of these styles that you need. So YouTube, LinkedIn, um, for print sizes. So I'm just gonna pop down here, which is my, my favorite one for blog posts. This is actually how I create a lot of my medium covers. Now, as we've clicked resize, we've obviously lost a tiny bit of the formatting. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play around here and quickly and easily just drag this about and here you can just see you can just click on the arrows I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger to fill the space again just click in the corner and drag so you literally don't need a designer you can just edit the assets that you need I'm gonna put my face nice and big in the middle because this is the central piece there you go I think I'm just going to pop my Lego in the middle as well here, just so it's sort of sat nicely. And look, as you can see, it's animated, so you can click play and it's all going to come through, which is already from the existing template. And I'm just, I always know that designers say it's good to line it up, so I'm just going to line this up here, make sure that's nice, and probably the same on the other side as well. Just get that in. Et voila! We have literally changed from an Instagram post to a blog post cover in 10 seconds, if not a few, few more. And then you can just click download and you can have it as the movie, PNG, JPEG, or a PDF. Um, and yeah, as it shows here, you can also get cracking to scheduling it to your different social media content as well. So it really is that easy just to basically be your own designer for yourself and not have to worry about using a design team anymore if budgets are slim and you just need to be able to edit and create your design assets quickly and easily.